Hi everyone, Tony Brewer here from Orphan Voice. God bless you. I was greatly encouraged this week when uh, a friend of mine called me and reported uh, answers to prayer. This gentleman and I had, had prayed about a family situation that he had. And he called me a, a few days ago and told me the story. It's very heart-wrenching, very difficult for him, uh, for him and his wife. But for whatever reason, during his telling me of the story, I just felt prompted to stop at several points during uh, his, uh, you know, during the time he was telling me, and we prayed about specific things at the very moment that the Lord uh, seemed to be prompting us to do that. And we finished the conversation. By the time he told me the story, uh, we had probably stopped and prayed five or six times. Well, uh, I love that about the Lord. I and mean, then we committed it to his hand. And then uh, yesterday I got an email uh, telling me about a, 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 the answer to that, to that day's prayer. And it seemed like as he, uh, as he was telling me the story about the events of the day yesterday, which was a key day that we had prayed for and several things in that, in that day yesterday we had prayed for, it seemed that everything we had pray, prayed for uh, several days ago, God had answered. And so that was a great encouragement to me. And let me, let, me pa let me share that with you because God wants to answer our prayer. Today, I'd like to uh, pray with you. Uh, I'd like to share a few thoughts about faith, which of course is key uh, to prayer. Then I'd like to share with you one of the story, one of our uh, least of these stories that's just come to us and we're ministering to now, then I'll ask you, if you don't mind, to pray with me for this, these two young girls. And hopefully this time will be an encouragement to you. Uh, it won't be long, but I'm so grateful to be able to be with you. You know, um, the Bible says that we have faith. So, you know, we, we think, oh, Lord, I don't have any faith, but actually you do have faith. Uh, Romans 12, 3, uh, Paul, where Paul says, By the grace given to me, I say to you not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think. In other words, not to think of yourself in a puffed up way, but to think soberly according to the faith that God has assigned to you. So praise God, you and I have faith. That's by the words of Jesus himself. So don't let the devil tell you that you don't have any faith. You do have faith. And you have the faith to, to carry out the assignment that God has for you. Praise God. We need to stand on that and believe that and act like that's true because it is. Jesus himself said it. But you know, each of us is also concerned about getting more faith. Uh, we have faith, uh, but we want more faith because we want to do greater things than Jesus has done. He said, greater things than these shall ye do because I'm going to the Father. And we need to be able to do those greater things. So how do we get faith? How do we get more faith? How do we add to the faith that we have? Well, I'm sure there's many ways, but one, one way is uh, centered on the uh, scripture also in Romans where it says, praise God, it says, faith cometh. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the, by the word of God. So if you want more faith, be encouraged because you can have it. Faith comes. Faith comes. We can have more. And how does it come? It comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And uh, to me, that uh, some things, some very simple things come, come to mind. Hearing by the word of God. You know, the book of Proverbs in particular always talks a lot about heeding the word of God. Hear the word of God. Pay attention to to the Word of God. Now, what's it mean by that? It means uh, read it. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I love to read the Word in, in different translations. Anything that helps me, I have a main Bible, I have a New King James, but, but anything that helps me understand what the Word is saying, uh, pray, prayerfully, can, uh, praying over the Word, what does it mean, Holy Spirit? He's our greatest teacher. But I'll read it in different, uh, and perhaps you do too, in different translations to try to get a handle. We'll meditate on the Word. We'll think about the Word. We'll pray over the Word. What does it mean? And then as God begins to reveal, most likely small things about the meaning 
of the word, then we obey. And that's where the heeding comes in. We obey. And as we hear the word of God, obey the word of God, faith is going to come. We're going to have more faith. Praise God. Faith is coming. Faith is coming to you. Let's, let's grab more of it so that we can do greater works. You know, Orphan Voices is involved in many things, uh, uh, evangelism, um, orphan care, uh, special needs ministry. Uh, uh, we have a deaf school. You know we do a lot of things. We have about 30 employees now in, in multiple countries, most in Vietnam, but also in uh, South Africa, Cambodia, Myanmar, and some of the Burmese people have, have flowed over into India. But we received a, a very heartbreaking story just this week uh, that I want to share with you, and then I want us to pray. If you will pray with me, the uh, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much, and where two or three of you are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And if you pray according to my will, you, you know that God hears you, and if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. But you need to know about these two little girls. It's a tragic story. It's it's hard to it's, it would be hard to find one more tragic, uh, 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 and this could have happened in the United States. And I'm I'm not really even going to say where it did happen, but it could have happened here. It didn't. Uh, but I want to any any story that that we share, we want to be clear that we're not denigrating any particular country because these things happen worldwide. Well, unfortunately, I. A six a six year old girl, uh, when she was six six years old, she's now fourteen, but beginning when she was six, her uncle uh, began to sexually um, abuse her and rape her. Uh, she didn't know what to she didn't know what to do. She didn't know what was going on, um, and she she didn't tell anybody. And it continued for eight years. As I say, now she's fourteen. It happened at least several dozen times. It could have happened in the hundreds of times. We don't know. But the good news is, is that it has stopped and, and God has brought this little girl to us and her sister who is also abused. And so we, are, we have now have two in our, in our care. Um, in February, uh, I'm sorry, in July of, the, of just, just last month, uh, the aunt, this little girl's aunt, 14-year-old girl's aunt, came to visit and thought her body looked uh, unusual. And thinking that the little girl would not agree with her to go to the hospital, she said, "Look, uh, I don't. Uh, not, we'll call her. Uh, we'll call her uh, Susie. Susie, I'm, I've got to go to the doctor. Uh, I've got this problem. Would you go with me, just to be with me?" And in that subterfuge, she got the little girl to go with her to the hospital. And uh, but while she was there, she had the doctor and I got the little girl to agree. And, and the doctor performed an examination on the this 14 year old girl, and she's six months pregnant. Uh, and so, um, the uh, aunt came back home, uh, you know, revealed about the pregnancy, and then it came out that the uncle had been the perpetrator. That was on the 22nd of July, on the 23rd of July. Um, the, the the brother a brother of this girl went over to the uncle's house and there was a, a violent argument and uh, almost to blows but not blows um, it got worse for the little girl unfortunately some of her family believed her and some did not including her her father did not and so her her father's moved out of the house and is now uh, living with his brother but because he didn't believe his brother had done this by the 27th of July, four, day, four days after this happened, by the 27th, this little girl, Susie, was in our care. She's safe. Uh, she has access to a Christian counselor. She has access to uh, the love of God. And beyond that, we're taking steps to see that the uncle uh, is brought to justice. We're, st we're taking steps to see that the uncle is brought to justice. So would you help me and could we pray for Susie? I'd like to, I'd like, uh, I'd like for us to pray for her. Uh, and then uh, uh, I'd like, I'd, I'd, I'd like to let you know that it, 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 it costs us. We have expenses 
to take care of Susie and her, her sister also, who we found out was also raped by the same person, although not as many, by the same uncle, although not as many times. She learned how to protect herself. She was older. But uh, we, need, we need your help financially and prayerfully to be able to take care of them and to be able to bring this man to justice. But first, before we talk about that, could, would you join with me in prayer? The, your prayer avails much, and agreement in prayer avails much. Pray with me for, for Susie. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring Susie to you. Father, we, we cover her in the blood of Christ. Father, you were rejected. She feels rejected. You were rejected with the same rejection and even more. And Father, we pray that you will reveal yourself to her in the name of Jesus, if in whatever means is necessary through the word of God, through the love that's the love filled Christians that she's going to be surrounded by, that she is surrounded by father, even if you need to appear to her, but God surround her and hold her in your arms of love. And we pray for complete restoration for her in the name of Jesus, that she will be restored fully and that all that the enemy has done will be reversed in Jesus name. Thank you for your prayer. We appreciate you and we appreciate uh, your faith. Uh, we do need your help. We want to take care of Susie. We want, to, we want to take care of her sisters. There are now 20 girls in the facility uh, where Susie and her sister are. All have been abused. We need your continued prayer. We need your financial support. In the link, in, uh, in the space below, there's a, a link uh, that will uh, enable you to give to Orphan Voice uh, to help us to take care of of Susie. In the uh, drop-down menu of the giving, you can see that one of the ministries is anti-trafficking, and that you can specify it for that if you want. Um, but we will get that money. We will use it to take care of her. And so we, we're, we're grateful for that. Please give uh, generously to help us with, take care of her, uh, and, and we'll see that that gets done. If you have prayer requests, uh, we're praying here for you on a regular basis, on a daily basis, Prayer for us at orphanvoice.org, P R A Y E R, for the number four, us at orphanvoice.org. Uh, send us your prayer requests and we'll lift them to the Father every day. If you have questions about Orphan Voice, you can email me, tony.brewer at orphanvoice.org. All that information is below. God bless you and have a great day.